the new i7 13700K, 16 core, and it's leaked benchmarks. It's up to 17% faster than the 12700K. And to add insult to injury, it beats the Ryzen 9 5950X as well. Intel's Core i7-13700K Raptor Lake CPU benchmarks have leaked out within Geekbench 5, and now we have performance numbers for all the three 13 Gen K series SKUs. The Intel Core i7-13700K CPU will be the fastest 13th Gen Core i7 chip on offer within the Raptor Lake CPU lineup. The chip features a total of 16 cores and 24 threads. This configuration is made possible with the eight performance cores based on the Raptor Cove architecture and eight E cores, which are the efficiency cores based on the Grace Mount core architecture. The CPU comes with 30 megabytes of L3 cache and 12 megabytes of L2 cache for a total combined of 42 megabytes of cache. The chip was running at a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and a boost clock of 5.3 gigahertz. The CPU showed minimum clock speeds of 5,289 megahertz and max clock speeds of 5,381 megahertz. That's pretty crazy. So as you guys can see, they have all the specifications now lined out with the 13900K here at the top. And that is going to be the 24 core 32 thread CPU. That's going to be eight performance cores, which is really no difference than the eight performance cores on the 13700K. You're just getting, you're just getting eight extra efficiency cores essentially for that multi-threaded processing now currently i've been running the 12900k in my main rig and i gotta say i like it a lot so i'm looking forward to the new line the cpu was benchmarked on the asrock z690 steel legend motherboard and i like that i can drop it into my uh Oris master motherboard because i spent a pretty penny on that so i'm kind of happy that we're not having to do a motherboard upgrade and that was with DDR4 running at 3,600 megabits per second. And in terms of performance, the 13700K Raptor Lake CPU scored 2,090 points in a single core and 16,542 points in the multi-core benchmark tests. This is pretty cool. Uh, compared to the results from yesterday, the 13700K is around 15 or 5% faster, sorry, excuse me, than the i5-13600K CPU in single-threaded and 15% faster in multi-threaded benchmarks. Do note that we are using DDR4 benchmarks as a basis of comparison since the same standard and board we used for testing the 13700K. The DDR5 version of the 13600 K produces much better results, but still lags slightly behind the 13700K. The DDR5 benchmark results for the i5 13600K appear to be 2% faster in single threaded and 11% faster in multi-threaded benchmarks. So DDR5 is definitely going to have an impact here. With that said, the 13700K is up to 17% faster than the Core i7-12700K CPU and is also faster than the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. We have to remember that the Ryzen 9 5950X is a 16-core 32-thread part, whereas the 13700K is a 16-core 24-thread part. So that performance uh, is actually quite impressive if you consider the amount of cores and so on. So as you can see here, they have a list of the benchmarks with the 13900K and 13700K, 13600K, and so on, all the way down the line. The 5950X in single core has always been a little bit lacking uh, in comparison to Intel, as expected with AMD, and it's at 1,689 points for reference. That being said, and let me get this pulled over here and extend it out so I can read this a little bit better. Did that fix it? Uh, can't seem to get the full... There we go. Okay, that's all we had to do. All right, so in the multi-threaded or multi-threaded, the 5950X ends up beating out the 13600K and then still falls short of, thir of the 13700K, maybe? Barely, by like, maybe like 30 points or so. 
So at the moment, it looks like Intel's most entry-level K-series Raptor Lake chip will be on par with the 5950X, while the Core i9 and Core i7 models will be ahead in performance. This is good considering Intel has to compete with Zen 4-powered Ryzen 7000 desktop CPUs right around its launch, so the extra multi-threaded and single-threaded performance is very much needed to be competitive. Additional benchmarks of the i9-13900K can be seen there and there, and you guys can check out the links in the description. Now, obviously for mining, most algorithms and most coins are gonna still favor that cash, and we aren't getting huge cash upgrades uh, in this particular case. Let me double check. I think we're getting a, a little bit, but not much. Maybe about twice, but I don't think it'll be, you know, near what we're at with AMD. You're going from 30 megabytes of cash to 68 megabytes of cash. So from a mining perspective, you're probably still better off going the AMD route. However, there are a few outliers, things like Darrow, for example, that do perform well just on the multi-threaded performance. So this could be an option for something like that. And that's kind of where we sit. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.